Well, time for our monthly Community Connections segment. My co-host, Adonica, a little under the weather, so she's not able to be with us today, but Elizabeth Herrera is. She is the Executive Director of Mission Promise Kept. Thanks for getting up early this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Early. <laughs> so you have been uh, with Stevens College involved in this for the last uh, about two years, right? Yes, that is correct. So Mission Promise Kept started officially uh, Boots on the Ground Day, April of 2022, but it's actually been a 10-year journey to understand the barriers that women veterans face as they transition into the academic environment. Right, and uh, this is a first of its kind program yes. in the nation. That's exciting, isn't it? Yes. To be a, you know part of something that it, there's nowhere else in the country you have this. Absolutely, and the, the, what makes it unique is that we're really taking into consideration the unique barriers of women veterans face um, as they transition into uh, the academic environment, and then addressing all of those issues holistically. So access to childcare, access to transportation, access to community, access to all of the resources that someone who had had that experience may need to be successful in college because statistics tells us that not many of us women veterans are actually taking advantage of those educational benefits, going to college, and then having really fulfilling careers. But how many do you have in the program right now? We have 10, 10 veterans in the program. We have three of them living on campus. And so the program is still in its infancy. We're hoping to grow it um, and opportunities like this to share exactly what we're trying to do and how we're trying to change the world. Right. So people who participate in this program or maybe want to participate in this program, just, you know, what are the kinds of things they can expect? So they can expect uh, a community that understands them. They can expect um, to, instead of being placed in a dormitory, they would be in either two, three or four bedroom apartments. They can bring their children. They can bring their pet. If they have non-school age children, we will provide access to ch free childcare. So while they go to classes, they'll have somebody, a babysitter or two, come and watch the children while she goes to class. In addition to another, uh, uh, a plethora of other resources through partnerships with the community and partnerships within Stevens College. And that's a big thing you mentioned. You can bring your pets, you can bring your children. That's important, right? Super to have the family important. with you. Absolutely. I mean, and to be able to provide a holistic approach to support that child care is really expensive and child care is not just a barrier for women veterans it's a veteran it's a barrier for everybody and so we are really just being intentional about how we support our women veterans so that they have all of the tools that they need to succeed awesome for people who you know maybe they're hearing about it now for the first time and they think you know this is something I'd like to take part how do they get more information on it so you can visit Stevens College website um, stevens.edu mission slash mission promise kept we have an instagram we have a facebook page mission promise kept you can always send me an email e herrera so it's e h e r r e r a at stevens.edu you can call the admissions office everybody on campus knows what we're up to at mission promise kept and they'll be sure to direct you in the right way 